sun comes out, everybody just looks so happy. And it's like, you know, people finally stop beating their head against the concrete and we all feel we've been blessed. Uh, I gotta tell you, I was traveling a couple of different places. There are a lot of other places in the country where this actually is a natural, regularly occurring phenomenon. It's amazing. Um, but this is, a, this is a wonderful event. Uh, the fact that it's now the... Uh, you know, I think I do just as well that way, no? No? Can I do it? No, no, it sounds terrible, but okay. The 14th year, and the fact that it's an award that is uh, voted on by students, you know, putting it right where the audience, the consumers, the beneficiaries of the teaching profession are, to have them select who are the winners. And um, I know that every time when I've talked to students, I just hear stories about how impressed they are with their teaching. And you know, the students where it actually particularly strikes me is just yesterday I was talking to one of the uh, board members of the Oregon University system, uh, somebody who's been around for a long time and who is uh, 65 years old, so he's able to take advantage of this program where you know they only pay a very small auditing fee. And he took a class this past term. And he was just so impressed with the quality of the teaching. You know, so to be able to impress somebody, you know, who's seen a lot of life and been around in a lot of circumstance, to me, is really testimony. And he was particularly thrilled also by the mixture of the, the, you know, the, the range of diversity in the class. The younger students, middle-aged students, older students like himself, and being able to just learn from that setting. You all, collectively and individually, this is what you do and what makes Portland State such a great institution because, as we all know, it's this combination of great teaching, deeply engaged research that matters to the region and ultimately to the world, the deep involvement with the community that makes up the uniqueness of Portland State University. Now, I want to tell you about just one recent experience I had of seeing excellent teaching in action. And again, you all see it all the time, but I would just thought I would single it out. Just about two weeks ago, we had an event at the President's House for uh, members of the President's Circle, which are donors who give a certain amount every year in unrestricted money. And it was a crummy Portland night. It was rainy, it was cold, and uh, we had to count on having it be semi-nice, so we actually had the event in a tent outside. Fortunately, we had some, uh, some heaters. But the teaching that took place there was by none other than Scott Burns. Because what we did, we had organized a wine tasting. And as part of the wine tasting, Scott gave a lecture uh, about, you guessed it, the terroir in Oregon, the soil types. And people just loved it. People just were so enthused. We probably created, you know, 50 more donors, you know, double donors that night because they loved the teaching so much. But then I started thinking about, okay, what made that such a great experience for people? Now you could say, we served wine. That always helps. I don't want to do that. But, but really, I think what made the difference is that Scott taught with great passion. Any of you have ever heard Scott, no, frankly, talk about anything. No, there's no passion there, but there's nothing like having him talk about the terroir and wine to really bring to that. So it was passion, it was deep, deep knowledge. What he was talking about was salient, because people were actually tasting these wines. So it, it really mattered. And it was hands-on learning, because we were drinking the wine while he was talking about it. Now, I know that you can't all replicate a wine tasting in your classes. We probably have a rule against that, I don't know. Uh, but those characteristics of passion, knowledge, salience, and making it concrete, interactive, whatever the word is, are of course characteristics of great teaching, no matter what your subject is. And I just wanted to thank Scott for both what he did that night, but also his leadership in continuing to talk about the incredible importance of teaching and how that really makes this university what it is. And I want to thank all of you in the room here 
for what you do every day, both the winners and the people who aren't winners, but who are, in many cases, equally uh, expert and wonderful and committed. So, thank you all so very much for